friends, it's Camille, and today I'm bringing you a killer clown makeup look. Let's get spoopy. First, I put my hair into two pigtails at the sides, and we're going to frizz them out at the end of the video, but this is how I start it. I'm starting with my Ben Nye Cream Palette, which I swatched for you in a recent haul video, but this palette is super cool for doing weird, creepy looks, so I used it for the first time today on an actual look. I'm starting with the white cream that I used all over my face just to give me a light, washed out, creepy kind of clown skin tone, I guess. <laughs> now I'm going in with a black eyeliner and I'm using this to draw on the outline of my lips. The creepier the better and I decided to give some pretty big lips and leave lots of space for teeth. Now I'm outlining the makeup for the eyes and you can just add a bunch of flicks and flares and just whatever shape you want, uh, but I ended up going with this type of shape. And now you're going to scrunch your brows so then you know how your face looks when you do that. And just kind of draw in the wrinkles that give you that angry look, as well as wrinkles on your face and then around your mouth so it looks like your face is all contorted and creepy. So this is going to be the outline of all of the makeup we're putting on later. Going in with the cream white again, I'm using a smaller synthetic brush and I'm drawing on some sharp pointy teeth. I'm doing the top teeth really large and then the bottom teeth are going to be lots and lots of small sharp pointy ones. Now I'm using the red cream and I'm going to go and fill in my lips and I'm doing this first with just red cream to give it that nice bright red look and then I'm going in with black to go in between the teeth so you can kind of show like the darkness behind them and emphasize all of the pointy, sharp teeth. Rawr. <laughs> I'm using blue and another synthetic brush and I'm going to paint a circle around my eye from under my brow down to the bottom and I'm doing the same thing with green on the other side. I just thought these two colors went really well together. And then I'm filling in the rest of the eye shape with black, the same cream product. And I'm doing that in a way so that the blue and the green can turn into a gradient. So I'm blending the green and the black together. And I did the same with the blue. So then you want to blend the two together afterwards. Now I'm going in with my Ofra palette and I'm using this blue shadow to set the blue cream so it doesn't go all over the place and smudge. I'm using a black to set the black around it and then to blend the blue and the black together. As well as doing the same thing on the other side, I'm using my Creative Me palette and I'm setting the green shadow with that. And then I'm going in with more shadow to blend the green and the black together. It's all about blending, dude. Even if you're a clown and you're going to be ugly, you have to at least be blended and be ugly. Now I'm adding shadow to all the wrinkles I made around my face so they're not just a line but it looks a lot more 3D. So you want to do the shadows so that if the light was in the center of your face, it's kind of pointed away. So all of the shadows are on the farther points. I'm using my Sugar Pill Red, which is like the only red shadow that I have in like all of my palettes. But red is really hard to get. I'm using that to set the lips. And then I'm setting the entire face with a translucent powder and a big fluffy brush so that I don't have to go in with the individual colors on the detail parts like the lips. I'm going in with black shadow on the lips so I can kind of add more dimension as well. You're just going to add a shadow and blend that with the red shadow, which is another reason that you need to use powder so it's easier to blend. And I'm doing the same thing at the top and the bottom of the teeth. Now it's time to frizz out that hair. And as you can see, my hair was already kind of wavy because I had it braided before. So I'm separating all of the waves just to make as much frizz as possible. So it turns into this big puff ball like that. You can see a huge difference. And I'm just going to do that to both sides because clowns have bad hair days 100% of the time. What is it with you clowns? Get your life together. Go fix your hair. Or maybe it's part of your aesthetic. You know what? Let's not judge clowns. <laughs> Here is some vampire blood. And I'm putting that on a synthetic brush and just placing that around my teeth. You don't want to ever put too much blood on at once because it does get overwhelming. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time, putting it around the teeth, on the tips of some of them, at the very bottom of my lips, and I want one part to drip down, so I added extra and I'm like shaking it. Come on, gravity. Do your thing. There we go. We got a nice dribble of blood. 
Now I'm doing a circle with the black liner on my nose and I'm filling it in with some red and then I'm setting the red with my shadow so it stays in place and then I'm going to go in with some black shadow to add dimension and kind of darken up the nose. And now you look like an evil killer clown. That's all you really have to do. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. It was pretty simple. It took a lot longer to do in real life. It's just a lot of tedious work, but it is really rewarding putting in a lot of time to do a crazy look and then see how great it comes out. So if you guys try it out, I'd love to see pictures. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have my vlog channel and all my social media links down below, so please follow me on those, and I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.